um, guess what? We're still in the lifestyle segment. And this new guest, before I introduce him, um, Kaf, let's, let's hear you read out a few messages. Yes, a few messages yeah. on uh, quite a lot of messages. Uh, you're yeah. being nice and diplomatic. Just, just, just do a few. And yes. Then, and let, let me introduce <laughs> I love Marcus. this show. It's the best morning show on TV in Ghana. That's uh, Maris in Kaswa uh, from Eugene K. in USD. Really enjoying the show concerning the CAF Awards. I totally agree with Dennis, but I think it's high time a player from an English-speaking country won the award. Well, I think you have to speak the language of good football and performances to win any award. And let's not take it away from Obama Young. I think he deserves it thoroughly, though his team didn't win anything last year. He did a he good did, job. Right? He did a good job. He, 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 he won. Deserved, yeah, okay. yeah, the Gabonese. I think he deserved it. Okay, yeah. but what are Ghanaians saying? They think they should have won. You know, we have been patriotic. Well, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, maybe, so that's maybe, what I was coming to. Maybe they need a bigger team. Swansea is not that big. Mm. Yeah. But, I, but, but I think he's still not doing bad, right? Mm, he's not doing bad, but... Yay, hey, I'm commenting on sports. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. So, let me, let me introduce our, our next guest. Mm -hmm. so we'll do more messages, but keep them coming through to all our social media platforms. Um, What's up? 0288-500-600. And on Twitter, it is at GH1TV. Same on Instagram. And then on Facebook, it's at GH1. So, now, our next guest... He is an international act. Um, he's shared the stage with some, you know, big, you know, people in the industry, including Alvin Slaughter, an international act, um, Don Moen. So at least you know where I'm headed. Um, and of course, our own um, Sonny Badu, and indeed many more international acts. And um, um, Reginald Nanayao Ofuriata is our guest, and he's joined us in the studio. Good morning. Good morning, Basil. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank How you. Do you we... look like the Ophiriates. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do your close friends call you? Is it Reggie or NYO or NYO um, or what? They call me, most of them actually call me NYOA. NYOA. Yes. Okay. Nanaya Ophiriates. Correct. Okay. okay, so if you're not Nanaya, you're Nanaya. Maybe. <laughs> okay, welcome. Welcome to us, studio. Thanks for having me. You love it here? I love it's, it. This is our palace, actually. It's beautiful. Thank did you very you, much. Did you know, though, that I'm the Queen Bee? I heard on air. <laughs> and here's and you advise yourself. <laughs> I advised myself exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fully advised. <laughs> you're welcome. welcome. Thank you for having me. You you left Ghana when you were 16. 16, yes. Why? Um, blame it on my parents. Okay. Okay. Parents duly blamed. <laughs> okay. So they went abroad. Yes, they they went abroad and uh, uh, thought thought I should I should join them. Yeah. So part of the family. Yeah. So they took me out of Ghana. Okay. And then they. Uh, planted me in America. Where, did, where exactly so still, did you touch down? Yes. Um, <laughs> basically, you know, every Ghanaian, uh, every Ghanaian really, yeah, exactly, there you go. New every York. Ghanaian touch down in New York. Okay. You know, when you're fortunate, you yes. touch down yeah, in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, when you're fortunate. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Listen, um, what was the story, really? What's um, your story? Uh, you know, my parents actually, like, you know, had lived in the States for uh, about, about almost 20 years. And then they decided to to take me out of Ghana because I was always complaining, you know, um, I really want to uh, uh, join you guys, you know, it's, it's really boring being here, I'm an only child, you I know. I really want to slam, yeah, you know, like some, you're doing. Maybe, like you're doing as well, <laughs> <laughs> like you're doing as well, you know, so I decided to, I mean, they decided to just uh, get me out when I was 16 mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it's been great after afterwards. Was it a, a shock for you um, initially? To be honest with you, uh, initially I really, really wanted to go, but from the very day I actually, like, you know, got the visa, I wasn't interested anymore. Oh, hi. Uh, I I think it was probably because of the the process that I actually went through. Uh, it be, yeah, it becomes very tiring, and you know, here and there, like, you know, really, I'm actually going to be leaving my grandmother, my grandfather, mm -hmm. you know, all my friends behind, you know, new life. I'm really not used to it, mm -hmm. you know. So, I I wasn't really like you know. So, indeed, mom and dad were not here, like. From the, the initial stages? Yes, the they weren't. They, oh. uh, my grandmother basically raised me. Oh, yes. okay. Grandma's boy. Yeah, grandma's boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so tell us a bit more about like the f growing up. Um, you were with grandma. How yeah. was it like before mom and dad came into the picture? At, okay, at, at so um, my grandmother basically uh, was the principal to superintendent for Ghana Education Service okay. uh, here in Ghana. And uh, she was transferred to, to the Western region. Uh, together with my grandfather, who was the, uh, uh, the regional director for Customs, Exercise and Preventive Service. Um, they moved them to, uh, to the Western Region, Takwari to be precise, and uh, we stayed there 
for, I mean, for a very, very long time. And uh, my parents decided to, uh, to take me out. So I can imagine she was very like strict principled. You know, educationists, you know. <laughs> she was very strict. She That's was. all I would say. Were you singing you think, in Ghana before you got to America? Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, um, I, was, uh, I was very serious, like, you know, with my musical background. I, I was playing the piano. Most people who actually lived in the same neighborhood with me, like, you know, saw me carry the piano from my house to church, mm -hmm. back and oh. forth, you know. I started off as a drummer. Okay. You know, and then the bass guitar, and I got into the, uh, uh, the piano, and all of a sudden, like, you know, music, I, was, I started singing. Okay. You know, so. How, how, how did you discover yourself? Um, I knew that I had the ability, you know, to do some music, but I think it was uh, my grandmother's prayer, basically, that's what brought me into music. Well, how do you mean? Um, many years, many years ago, like, I think I was about eight, nine years old, uh, I could hear my grandmother pray that God should use me. You know, she had kids and stuff, but she always prayed. I, I heard her in her prayer, God, use Nanea, God, use Nanea, God, use Nanea. Wow. And till date, she's still praying for me. How did that make you feel? Too? Yes. I, I, I feel very good. And, you know, I, I, really, I, I, I really, really love my grandmother, honestly. I really, really love her because of uh, uh, the things that she's basically done for me and uh, what she's really, really, really done for you know, my musical career, basically. She's always, always like, you know, she said, look, go forward, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, and God is always going to be with you. You, you know what, back in school, okay, so there was this fine gentleman who used to be like a part of the executive of, of SU. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember, I recall that some of the girls usually would go like, ah, this fine guy, and he's creepy like that. <laughs> you know, I mean, look at you. <laughs> you know, that was very funny, isn't mm. it? Um, um, uh, and indeed, look, I have an uncle, a very fine one, mm. a pastor. Mm. And when I'm telling people that, oh, my, my uncle is a pastor at this church. Mm. Oh, which one? I'm like, oh, the fine one. You know? <laughs> and they know who you're talking about. Yeah, so you no, I mean, I'm just looking at you, mm. look at you, and I'm sure you're aware that you have the looks. You're, you're good looking. And, and, and why gospel, first of all? Why uh, gospel music? I, I believe I was actually, um, that's my calling, basically. Mm. You yeah. know, it is my calling to do gospel because I don't know where I probably, like, you know, would be if I was doing gospel. Wow. I mean, that's, that's, that's what God told me. I don't know where I would be now if I wasn't doing gospel. And what, when, when did it all happen? So apparently you shared the stage with Alvin Slaughter, Don Moen, um, and, and the list is like so tall. Yeah, it, w it, it, was just, it was just a breakthrough. You know, I was doing music here and there. You know, um, uh, you don't really get to meet any big artist here and there. So one time I was actually, I was in my bed sleeping and a friend of mine called me and then she said, um, a certain pastor needs you. Um, her name is Pastor Elsie Obed. She mm -hmm. said, she needs you. And I said, um, okay, I will be there. And 10 minutes later, I got this, a phone call back. She said, um, don't come. We're not going to be needing you. Uh-oh. Okay. And knowing me, I wouldn't say, okay. Mm -hmm. I was trying to ask her why. And then she said, she can't explain now. She's actually going to call me back later. I said, okay. So I went back to sleep and I heard my phone ringing again and about five minutes later, and then she said, Reggie, we need you, please come. So I went and that was a breakthrough. Okay, I, so started sharing, I started sharing the stage with the likes of the, my first, my first was uh, to share the stage with was uh, 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 Ron Canoli, uh, Lana Peterson. These are music giants. Man, yes. you started high. These are music jobs. Well, I mean, if, if you start with Ron Canelli, who, where are you going next? Is Angel Gabriel or what? I mean, where, I, where I are you going? I have no idea. I have Come no on, idea. Man. So, <laughs> so that's how God actually placed me. And then afterwards, like, you know, I've been meeting the likes of, uh, you know, from Phil Driscoll's uh, wow. to Don Morns. And, uh, you know, I have a good, good relationship with uh, some, of, uh, some of the African artists like uh, Nathaniel Bassi. Mm. And, uh, yeah, so... We communicate every now and then. Listen, you're a singer. We need to hear you sing something, man. Really? Really? Okay. Really? Okay. How I wish we had some instruments. You know he's good at the, the keyboards as well. Yeah. But he'll you sing. Know. He'll sing. He'll sing. <laughs> a cappella. He'll sing a cappella. Don't, don't, I know, don't right? I'm just, I'm just yeah, trying to get know, you know, him say, to know that you're, but he'll say, you're no ordinary you know, person king. as well. Ordinary. My king <laughs> is no ordinary but king. But then he'll say, if, if he doesn't have the keyboard, we can't sing. I want him to sing. Oh, really? Sing something for us, man. I wish I could sing something for you, but um, 
uh, let me do something. Yeah. What do you want me to do if I Anything. If any song that touches your Blow heart? Blow us away. Think of your okay. and sing a song for I, us. <laughs> yeah. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. You are so great. Oh. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. You are so great. <laughs> Why is it that musicians Do sing as close their eyes their. when they well, sing? Well, I base I don't know, but it's, I think it's actually a part of me. I don't know. Do you about see the that notes? It's or a part something. of all musicians, I guess. <laughs> yes, I guess. <laughs> why I, why is it so? I have no idea. It's just that's just me. I can't talk for. <laughs> right, did you realize that even listening and I close my eyes as yeah, well, kind yes, of yes. soaking it in? Mm. You know. How powerful do you think music is? Music is really very powerful. I, I can't explain how deeper it is, but it's very deep. Music can, can, music can do a, a lot of things to you. And, and for you, doing gospel, you, it you, does. you're ministering to people through yes. your music. Yes, you know, preaching the gospel through music. Great. You know, which does a lot, 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 lot of, of stuff to people. Share with us, um, you, you have an album? Um, I'm actually, I've, I just released a, a single. I mean, I'm okay. releasing the second single as well by the end of uh, another uh, an album by the end of uh, I believe uh, 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 March. I'll be releasing an album. Okay, so yeah. and that will be your first. My first. Your album. first album. My first single, which is actually dubbed "Faithful," is doing very well, very very well. Faithful. Great. Yes. Where can we find it? Is it, is it online? Is it? It's online. Mm -hmm. um, I I gave it away for free basically. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on SoundCloud, it's on Reverb Nation, uh, it's on YouTube. And it's also everywhere on Facebook. Is this all you do in your life? Are you a full-time musician? No, or you, you do other no, things. No, no, I, 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 I do music on the side, mm -hmm. not on the side, basically, but you know, I do music, and uh, I also do have a business back in the states. Okay. So. What kind of business? Uh, I'm into a transportation business. Uh, it's like a, a, like taxi transportation. Okay. So okay. you call and I give you like I don't know if you guys actually heard about Uber. Or Uber, yes, yes, I know about so, Uber. Yeah, actually, yeah I have, nice I have Uber. one of those, and then. I, uh, okay, so you're on holiday here. You, you, you run people. back. <laughs> I came to basically, yeah, uh, yeah. I came to to, to promote my music because okay. you know people actually think probably I live in the states and like you know what I do is for the Americans here and there, but no, it's for my country as well. This is where I was born. I have a dual citizenship. This is where I, this is where the music must be, mm -hmm. and so I came to promote this as well. Is, is Uber the, the 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 real deal as is being speculated? Because uh, there, there there was news that. Indeed, you, you guys are given, you know, the, the um, cab drivers already in the system, stiff competition. It is a competition, honestly. Today, in the computer world, basically, um, things, are, things are beginning, like, you know, to take turn uh, 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 to, 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 to bring something beautiful, or, I mean, something great, like, you know, to, to, to people like... Uh, uh, taxi people. Um, Uber has actually, like, you know, killed the business. I mean, I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm, yeah. I don't think it's killed. You know, killed, it's, it's, killed, it's killed but it. it's doing well. Uber is doing very well. In the Uber United is doing very well, but yeah. it's killed. It's killed the business for regular taxi drivers. You know, before in New York City, for instance, you know, a medallion probably cost about a million point two, and because of uh, Uber, now a medallion is actually about five hundred or four hundred thousand dollars. What's a medallion? Medallion is what um, you have to have to be able to operate a yellow taxi in New York City. Uber is not metered? Uber, no, Uber is not metered. Okay, so Uber. the, reason, the, the more reason why that I would patronize Uber other than the, the metered ones, because then in New York, for instance, yes. s -s traffic is like, It's oh crazy. My goodness. So if you get into an Uber, traffic is going to kill you. You pay more money to Uber. Okay. Explain that. I, 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 I'm getting lost here. Okay, so Uber, what Uber does is that uh, they go with the time. Uh, um, the app will calculate how long you stay in there. So let's just say you stay in there for like a minute. You're probably going to pay twice mm -hmm. of how much a Yellow Cab is supposed to charge you. Yellow Cab charges about 40 to 50 cents per three blocks. And how is this killing regular... You know, Yellow uh, taxis. Yeah. It's killing them because people think that Uber is kind of clean. It's reliable when you call it. Like you know, it's going to be down, uh, uh, down in front of your house, waiting you for you. You don't need to get to the roadside exactly and, and scream, to do taxi, one of the exactly taxi, to do one of these things. So you know, somebody already took over your taxi. Yeah. So you know, people yeah. actually got into Uber, and then most of people. I mean, I even, I even like you know, 
tell people, like, get okay. into Uber. It's really very let, nice. Let, let's get back to you know. music. So, so what brought you? You're back from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> you saw me right there, right? I saw you in New York. And I felt like I was there. So, so Stop in a taxi. So listen, <laughs> listen, 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 no, no. So, yes. um, with your career, where do you see this going? Because you have you have your business, yes. But and you have a slash career, so businessman slash musician. Yes. Is musician going to take over business one day? Wherever God leads me. Because right now, and I have both of them like, you know, at the peak. So wherever God leads me, I go. Has God led you to a beautiful woman to be your, your partner for life? Has <clears> God <throat> led me? He's <laughs> always clearing her throat. I know. Yeah, basically, yes, I would say that, yes. Uh, you, you're not sure? Uh, I would say, no, I'm sure. I'm, I'm very, very sure. The, so what are we waiting for? The, we'll, very soon, very hey. soon, uh, uh, <laughs> there's going to be one of those things, wedding bells. Oh, really? Yeah. This year? Very soon. Yes, this year. I think you're disappointing half of your fan base uh, at this moment with this, I with this announcement. I, I, I can't help it. But, but listen, uh, Anaya, yeah. do you have any intentions of, you know, kind of resettling here in Ghana? Yes, I, I, yes, I, I was discussing with one of my good friends. Uh, that's why I came. I, I, I'm Testing the trying waters. to... Well, I've been here. I was here six months ago, okay. and I came back again. I have, I have some businesses going on around, so I want to see how good, like, you know, it is, mm -hmm. and, and if it really, really kind of helps me. Then you do it. Yeah, I will, I will move back. What's the toughest thing uh, in combining your career, your, your, your business, and then your, your passion? It is very, very hard. I'll be very honest with you. It's really, really, really hard because sometimes you are, um, you're, you're expected to be ministering somewhere, and then um, uh, a client, a very, very good client, like, you know, would test you with a really big, huge amount of money that um, take me over there, mm -hmm. which probably, like, you know, you probably like, you know, pay you about $1,000 or even less, you know, and then you're supposed to be ministering somewhere that you're not going to get paid nothing, you know, but you're going to bless the people. So what do you do? It's a tough decision. That's a tough decision. Does it pay to be a gospel singer? I don't know what the situation is. Um, I need to interview some Ghanaians here, but over there, does it pay? They call you for shows? It does. It does. It does. Uh, in, 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 in the States, it does. So the average gig is like how much? Um, it depends where you're ministering. It all depends where you're ministering because okay. uh, I, there are some pastors who really don't know or they take your, uh, your, 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 your anointing for granted. Do it for the Lord. Exactly. That kind of thing. God bless you. God bless you. That was one Sweet of those. Sweet voice. You know, but you know, <laughs> they, they, they expect you to come empty and then go empty. Okay. That's exactly what they do. But right. it pays. Some people... My first gig, I'm going to go back to my first gig, when mm -hmm. the lady actually invited me, mm -hmm. um, I was getting paid sometimes, you know, $50, $100 to go sing here and there. Mm -hmm. And then that very day when the lady actually invited me to come over to sing, um, I sang for five minutes and 35 seconds. Mm -hmm. I remember very well because I was timed <laughs> okay. for six minutes. Oh, okay. You know, so I remember very well. I sang for five minutes and 35 seconds. And... When I was leaving, they gave me a check. So I got downstairs and I was like, you know what? Let me just open this check to of see course. what's in there. Yep. You'd be surprised. My very, very, very first breakthrough. I opened it and it was $1,000. What? For the mention of the check, give me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for six minutes work? For, yes. Less it was than a, six It was $1,000. So I <laughs> called the lady who introduced me to the woman that she should call the woman back because it looks like they've actually made a mistake on that <laughs> they've check. They've one more zero, okay, right? the, Exactly. Yeah. And then she asked me how much they gave you, and I told her how much they gave oh, you. She usually. said, it is very true. Man, That's how much they said they were going to give you. It's your grandma working, man. Yeah. It's God in my grandma. Yes, your grandma. <laughs> I remember God grandma. For you. you know, so that's <laughs> how I got way. my breakthrough. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so from then, it's been uh, this high check from here, this high check from there. And uh, things have been great. What happens in America? Are you supposed to declare these things, uh, file them for tax purposes? How does it work? Um... You're supposed to, mm -hmm. you know, you're supposed to mm -hmm. uh, surrender, like, you know, how much you make here and there, uh, which I know some people don't, mm -hmm. but you're supposed to. How is the business structure, the music industry? And uh, I don't know whether you've performed a lot here, or you are familiar with the music industry here in Ghana. Not really. Not really. But Not really. Uh, say you write your songs, you, you can have them copyrighted, you get royalties if they are played. On yes, the air, in America, like yes, in America, like, if you, if you actually copyright your songs, you register them, and then some of the radio stations are definitely going to play it. When they play it, uh, whoever you actually registered with to collect royalties for you, 
are going to be collecting royalties from wherever it's being played. You'll be there, you check your account, you see there's royalties in your account. Is that happening to you? Oh, yes. Okay, you're getting airplay. I've gotten one so far, one. Okay. One. One radio station you has come to You have to chase after it. You have to chase after it. Okay. Yeah. So the radio station paid your money and then they logged it that they just, played. Just, just one. One, one. Just, just one radio station. Okay. You know, just one radio station. And yeah. it wasn't that big. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was probably like, you know, going to be something big, but mm -hmm. it wasn't that big. But I was like, you know what, that's just the start. Yes. And know? I'm sure it's the, there's a... Uh, word of mouth will make it bigger. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, now that you're you're looking at a, an album, yes, you know, I'm, I'm sure definitely something. Yes, will come yes. Out uh, the album is actually ready. Mm. Um, uh, I released the first uh, single. The second single is actually ready uh, by the end of this month, and then I will release the whole thing. Any videos? We call them teasers. Right? Um, so we, want, we want to play the one of these days. When yeah, do I do have. I do. I do have. A, I do Did have you bring one with you? Uh, I'm no. actually working on uh, the video for Faithful. Basically, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. uh, I had a video which is actually, um, it was recorded during the, uh, the, uh, the Faithful recording. Okay. Mm -hmm. They played it live, everything was live, and it was so beautiful. I think it was a Facebook, it and about, about 23 to 25,000 views, okay. uh, which um, I think it's, it's available now. We're going to pop into the world of 60 seconds, uh, yeah. uh, go get some international news. We'll come back and get your social media handles and everything like that, yeah. so people can get in touch with you. We are here with Nana Yao uh, he's, uh, he's You sounded like Nana uh, yeah. Yao. Oh, okay. Yao. <laughs> Nana Yao. Let me do it for you. Well. Please pardon yeah, me. He's uh, he's Aigbe. Yes. So yeah. We we we, 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 we say we say yao 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 yao. So Nana Yao Ofori Atta, is an up and coming gospel oh, musician, Jesus. and he's coming up after the world in sixty seconds. Uh, you get to know how to get in touch with him. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. The Religious Council of Uganda has called for an independent investigation into allegations that a voter list to be used for the February 18th general election is not credible, stating that it has been tempered with to the benefit of the incumbent president and his ruling National Resistance Movement Party. South Sudan's opposing parties have agreed to share ministerial positions in the transition government for the sake of national unity. The chair of the body monitoring a peace deal has said the deal states that a transitional government will be created for a period of 30 months followed by an election. President Barack Obama has fielded tough questions from gun owners at a televised town hall on his move to tighten gun rules. Today in history, in the year 1970, the then President of the United States, George Washington, delivered his first State of the Nation address. Yeah, okay. that's the Friday edition of GH Today. You can follow the, us chill, the chill, the chill, the chill. chill. Lapu says it's yes, the chill. The chill. And you can follow us uh, on Twitter <laughs> at GH1TV. You can use the hashtag GH Today. My handle is at Kafui Day and Beswa's is at Beswa DH. Beswa, there's a lot of yeah. flow. Yeah, so exactly. Nana, so this one says that, um, hello, good morning, Kafui and Beswa. I'm enjoying the show so much. Please tell Nanaya that I love him so much and he's mm. on point. Ooh. And look, let me read you this one. <laughs> uh, please put your names to your, your comments. Eh? Um, mm. You still didn't give me... Okay, Beatrice. Okay, Beatrice. Beatrice says that, what? Beiswa, please, Nanaya, I love him so much and I wish I would be his wife. Like, really? Did you not hear the gentleman mm. speak? <laughs> Beatrice. She didn't hear. She joined later. <laughs> I know. And loads of them. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> indeed, he's such a fine man. Why is he doing gospel music? Oh, you get this a lot, right? What a yeah. question. <laughs> you know, just like I was kind of, you know, trying to get from you. Why? Do they I want, don't know why do, people... Do they want the ugly guy to go and do gospel? We <laughs> really? refuse. Whoa. God deserves the best. Please. God no deserves human being, the best. No human being is ugly, Kafui. Okay, the, the, because the we not were so all good. made in his image. image. Okay, Thank so they're not, they're not so endowed facially people to go and do uh, a gospel why we want them i don't know why we usually gospel. you know are like uh, how can this fine <laughs> guy or fine fine girl be doing gospel being creepy things and you know maybe they just want to have sex you see that's the whole bottom line don't mind them yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't do that I, I i i just fell in love with nana's honesty yes i never underestimate what granny's prayers yes i wish him good things ahead Sweet. Loved the piece he did too. Yes. Oh, this yeah. is Nana Kofi. It's actually a guy. They love your voice, man. <laughs> yes. They love yeah. your voice. So, so yes, yeah, there's a lot of love pouring out on our social media platforms for you. Um, uh, so what? Apart from the album, when do you go back, by the way? Um, I, I'm here 
uh, for a few more days. Okay. Yeah, I'm Please. not sure. Yeah, I'm not mm. sure exactly. No, when, they usually but... don't like to announce their <laughs> exit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their exit, and even <laughs> when they're coming, they don't like to exit. I mean, announce before you know what they're here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're now by. Oh, I know I'm going to be by. No, they've been in the system for like a week or more. Uh, so, well, so I was yes. here this week, basically. I, was, I just got here. <laughs> okay. okay. Just curious. You, 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 you have songs in tree as well. Um, I do write in tree as okay, well. So yeah, you can. But okay, so Yeah, I right. do write in tree. Okay, you're left-handed. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Are you left-handed? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible to be maybe left-handed? <laughs> hey, Nana, I, I want to ask you some yes. um, some random permission questions. Yes. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Go ahead. So, okay. Kafui has these random questions. Okay. You know. So now, um, let me say that you are in the hot seat. Yeah. In the hottest um, seat right now. Okay. So yeah, the clock is ticking. Okay. Take talk. If you could ask Shoot. God one question right now and he, and he would answer you right away what would that question be i will ask him to fix every problem in ghana like what's the biggest one that needs fixing doom so doom so <laughs> i thought it was fixed no it's the not. man told us he fixed it and then he went no it's not. <laughs> it's not it's not they're getting it where you live uh, uh, well i get it yes you get it now and then yes yes oh really yeah. okay doom so is everywhere interesting i still haven't experienced it though since mm, the yeah, holiday yeah, yeah 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 i'm even afraid to mention the name ecg i know right because you mentioned it, then <laughs> please say, let ah. me not say it. Oh, no I, I didn't i didn't mention yeah, it. So yeah, i didn't yeah, say yeah, that because otherwise it might go off by the time you get home we like the light all right you've been in america for how long uh, since I was 16, uh, and I'm, so you don't uh, want to say. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been I've been for almost 20 years. Now. Almost 20 years. Yeah. Um, how, so many how many times um, have you experienced doom so? How many times have you experienced doom so? Every 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 time when I come here, I no I there, there. Once in 2003, uh, when uh, we got a blackout. Okay. I don't know if you actually read any story yes. about it, but yeah. we do. We did actually had a blackout. The whole of uh, the whole of New York and uh, and the neighborhood. I believe the tri-state. We did. It was a problem with the transformer, and everything went out. But it came back on. Did he apologize and all kinds of things? Oh yes, of course. I mean, people actually. Con Edison, which is the uh, the electricity yes. ECG over here, mm -hmm. yeah. um, actually sent out monies to people who actually like you know lost food in the fridge and all that kind of stuff. Can we go to America now? Uh, they, listen, they actually I, I gave you money. Yeah, you, you, they what, gave what? out money. So you told them, oh, I lost a whole pig, and then they give you the money for the pig. What, what, they, what? they they can't say no because you have food in the fridge. So how much? How much will people get? Um, I believe my mom then actually uh, got about one hundred and seventy-five dollars worth of. Uh, Look, <laughs> I, I, you know, but I mean, I, I have an experience as well. Was it yeah. 2011, 2012? No, 2012, yeah. um, um, the summer, um, there was this storm that kind of, you know, took away the electricity from, from most of the states. Um, I was in Ohio at the time when it happened. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yes, that was a bit of my experience mm -hmm. there. It, it didn't take too much time. Okay. A lot of places were kind of cut off Virginia. Okay. Even New York, it was I all think it was, the uh, news. Hurricane Sunday. Okay. Yeah, Hurricane yes. Sunday. I, yeah. I, I was there. In fact, I just landed in Ohio, and yeah. then the storm happened. Yeah. With, with my my daughter, she was just about eleven months old. Yeah, it was. Uh, but but again, in, in in Arkansas, Little Rock, it happened within a few minutes. Oh my goodness! It came, came back on. Came back that's on. how. That's, that's right how right. you know when you live in a country where yeah. laws and everything works. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. great, interesting experience. ECG giving us money for the spoiled stuff in our fridge. <laughs> we, no, wish, we wish. <laughs> another, another question here for you. And this one is, what's one thing about God that you don't understand? Um, why he chose me when I know there are better people out there. More why than not I you? I don't know. Don't understand it. <laughs> How do you feed your spirit? I do feed my spirit every morning uh, by getting on my piano in my bedroom. Oh. Oh, you have your piano in your bedroom? In my bedroom, yes. When your wife comes around, do you think she will allow you to have the piano in the room? Um, she will if she's actually God sent. If she is God sent. Is she a singer too? No, she's not. She's not. What does she do? Uh, she is... I mean, your wife-to-be. Can I not answer that question? No. Okay. <laughs> because I'm in a hot seat. <laughs> you are in a okay. hot seat. Well, well, um, <laughs> my my wife-to-be, uh -huh. um, I don't know what she's doing yet, but... Uh, I, I would just leave it. Funny. Like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How confident are you about what will happen to you in the afterlife? I'm very confident that I will meet my maker one day. I'm very, very confident. Explain. I'm very confident that I will make it to heaven. I'm very, very confident. Why, what, on what do you base your confidence? Uh, because of my mindset. Because I renew it every day. And I speak with him every day. 
and um, I try, I try to, 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 to help myself, you know, get to that place where God wants me to be. How do you deal with unwanted attention from women? Oops, I flee. You flee? Yes, I flee. So she says, you're fine, and let's, let's, let's roll. I flee. What, do you say something before you flee? Um, no, I don't have to say anything. But, you know, it's funny you're actually <laughs> asking that, but, but then it's, I have to flee. If, I, if you do not flee, you are always going to set yourself up for a lot of things. Okay, so when you say you flee, exactly how do you manage it? Um, you don't... <laughs> Well, really? no, no, you, you ignore, <laughs> right. that's what you do. You, you ignore, ignore them. Yeah, because okay. before, you know, I, I would say this, like, you know, every, every guy um, has, I don't know, but every guy has probably, like, you know, been in that kind of life before. Yeah, yeah. But when God actually calls you to that place, what you have to do is mm. whenever they call you or whenever the woman actually, like, you know, try to chase you here and there, you just have to ignore them and just flee. Advice for the guys. If you're getting too much unwanted attention, please flee. That's from the Nayao. Let me after. just say this one to Nana. Nana, a course says that you are a childhood friend and can testify to everything that you have said. Mm. And she actually goes on, going on to say that God has really heard your prayers, the, the prayers of grandma. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, love Akos. to you. A yeah, course sounds like my it sounds family. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A course from Paul. Yes. Okay. Like okay. Yeah. Right. Hey, I wish we could hang lots, out some lots of more. Lots of so messages. many messages. I'm yeah. sure we'll scroll them on the screen. But Nana, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so very Good much. Good luck with Faithful. Thank you. And uh, we want to see that video. The moment it's done, it's cut, everything edited, yes. let's have it. Of course. And we'll blast it on GH today. Of course. All right? Of course. Thank you so very much for oh, having me. Pleasure, man. Thank, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Don't ever hesitate to come through here. Of course. Okay? I will. At yeah, any time. Anytime that you're in town, just pass by. I will. All, All right. right.